chose him for her own And her love made Clifford grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island They had no many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun He's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog And this is Cleo. Hi. Ah, uh, yeah, nice to meet you there, Curly. Curly? Uh, my name's Artie. Uh, my human is here visiting Mr. Carson. Oh, we, we were just on our way to the park to play ball. You want to come? Love to, Red. Only right now, I I'm kind of stuck behind this fence. Can you help dig me out? But if your human comes out and finds you gone, won't he worry? Mr. Tuma? Nah, he probably locked me in here by accident. Well, if you're sure it's okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Red. Let's roll. But what about this mess we just made? Oh, oh yeah, that. Well... There you go. Good as new. Am I right or am I right? Honey? Where are you? Honey! Ah, uh, that's Mr. Tuma. Gosh, Artie, he sounds upset. Maybe you shouldn't have left the yard without him knowing. I'll relax. It's cool. You'll see. Artie, where you been? I've been worried about you. And did you do this? Did you? <laughs> oh, well, dogs will be dogs, I suppose. <laughs> wow. That Artie is one smooth operator. Hey, you Red. Oh, hi, Artie. So what are you doing today? More fun at the park? Uh-huh. I was just on my way to get Cleo and Tebow. All right, playtime. Let's go. Cleo! Cleo, are you home? Curly, are you home? Well, hello to you. What have we got here? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Today must be her grooming day. Let's go see if Tia's home. Right behind you, Red. Gosh, it's too bad T-Bone wasn't home either. Oh, well, Red, it looks like it's just you and me and the hedgehog. That looks like Cleo's hedgehog. Well, there's a good reason for that. It is Cleo's hedgehog. <laughs> you took Cleo's hedgehog? Took? No. Borrowed? Sure. Without asking? Well, believe me, Red. 
I would have asked, but she wasn't home. And if she was, well, you know, she'd let us borrow it. Well, either way, we got it. Am I right or am I right? Uh, that's not the point. Oh, come on. We're not going to hurt it. Here, catch. <laughs> well, I guess we can play with it a little bit. But we have to take it back before Cleo gets home. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> it has to be here. Oh, it just has to be here. It couldn't just walk away. <gasps> Cleo's looking for her hedgehog. Guys, this is a total disaster. I can't find my hedgehog toy anywhere! Wait, maybe I left it under my dog bed. Cleo, wait! Artie and I! Whoa, whoa! Hold the phone, Red. You're not gonna tell Curly we took it. Of course! Bad idea. B.I. B.I. That's only going to make her feel even more upset. See, the important thing is we have to calm Cleo down, make her feel good. Am I right or am I right? Well, I guess so. We'll just let her find it herself. Hey, Curly! Is that your hedgehog? What? We where? Yes, my sweet hedgehog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I thought you were lost, and you were really here behind this tree the whole time. Oh, Artie, thank you. You're the best. So, what do you think, Clifford? Was I right, or was I right? You were right, Artie. This is the biggest hole I've ever seen. Hey, well, let's have some fun. See how much deeper we can dig. Uh, I don't think we should, Artie. Okay. But you're going to miss out on an awful lot of big bones. Bones? Really? Oh, yeah. I smelled some awfully big ones down there. <laughs> Oh, oh, my. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Gotta go, Red. I'll catch you later. Clifford! Clifford, what happened? <laughs> it was terrible, guys. Water was everywhere, all the dirt turned into mud. And then the workers came back and Artie just ran away. Well, why would he do that? I guess he knew we had done something wrong and he didn't want to get into trouble. But he was the one who told you to dig. I know, but I knew it wasn't right. Oh, I shouldn't have let him talk me into doing it. I don't think Artie is very nice. Sure he is. He found my hedgehog toy for me. No, he didn't, Cleo. Artie is the one who took it in the first place. What? He just pretended to find it so you wouldn't be mad at us. What do you mean, us? Well, Artie took it, but then I played with it, too. I let Artie talk me into doing lots of things I knew were wrong. Helping him get out of his yard, playing with Cleo's toy, digging at the construction site. Wow, he seemed like so much fun. Well, he is fun, but from now on, I'm never going to let him talk me into doing anything that doesn't feel right to me, no matter how much fun it is. All Good right, idea. Clifford. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but do you think T-Bone and I could get you to take a bath? Come on, guys, let's play Drench the Dog. 
Uh, no thanks, Artie. I, I don't really like that game. Okay, okay, I've got a better idea. Let's hose down the yard and make our own slippery slide. That'll flood the lawn. Ah, this lawn could use some water, and it'll be fun. Am I right, or am I right? Whoa! Cleo, T-Bone, and I have rules we like to play by. We play fair, and we always try to do what we think is right. If you want to play with us, Artie, you have to play our way. Well, you are one big red drag. If that's the way you want to play, I'm out of here. Wow, you really stood up to him, Clifford. You sure did, big guy. Thanks, guys. Come on, let's finish my bath. Okay. Great. Here we go. Go, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So the way you're playing looks like it just might possibly be kind of fun. It is fun. What do you think, Clifford? You think I could take a turn? Sure. I think you're going to like playing our way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Am I right? Or am I right? You are definitely right. <laughs> Clifford! It's story time! You want to hear a speckle story, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Two Full Toy Chest. One day, Speckle realized he had so many toys, his toy chest couldn't hold them all. Darnell suggested that Speckle give away some of his toys, and that sounded like a good idea. So with the help of his friends, Speckle started cleaning out the chest. Darnell pulled out some swim fins and a snorkel and thought they would be a lot of fun at the beach. So Speckle gave them to Darnell. Luna discovered some roller skates. Speckle told her to please take them home with her. Reba found a fire truck with a real siren. She loved it so much that Speckle wanted her to have it for her own. Rabbi and Speckle dug out matching badminton rackets from the very bottom of the chest. Speckle gave one racket to Rabbi and kept one for himself. As his friends played with the toys Speckle gave them, Speckle realized how good it made him feel to share his toys with his friends. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> this morning. I'm getting married! What? Married? Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Good for her. I'd like you all to meet my fiancé, Frank Williams. Hello, everyone. This is so amazing. How did you two meet, Miss Carrington? 
<laughs> well, let's see. Uh, Frank and I met at the beach when he visited the island last year. At the beach? How romantic. Well, I'm not much of a water person, though. I prefer to stay on dry land. Huh? Frank is a botanist. He studies plants. I've traveled all over the world looking for plants that no one has discovered before. The jungles of South America. The deserts of Africa. I'm hoping to find some interesting plants right here on Birdwell Island. Wow! That sounds cool! I'd like to be a botanist and work out in the jungles and deserts someday, too. Well, actually, I don't spend all that much time in the jungles. Most of the time, I work in a classroom. Frank is a college professor. He teaches, just like me. But there aren't any colleges on Birdwell Island. <laughs> That's true, Emily Elizabeth. That's why Frank and I will be living on the mainland after we're married. Wow. You have to take the ferry back and forth every day. I hope it's on time. It wouldn't be right for our teacher sure to be late to class. <laughs> well, actually, I won't be your teacher anymore. <gasps> no! I'm going to miss you all very much, but I'm hoping you'll write to me often and tell me all about what's happening on Birdwell Island. But, Miss Carrington, you're our teacher. Mrs. Grumbly will be your new teacher. She's one of the most interesting people I've ever met, and she's got lots of great ideas that she can't wait to share with you all. Interesting is good, I guess. I don't want this new Grumbly teacher. I want Miss Carrington. I don't feel much like playing volleyball today. I just keep thinking about Miss Carrington. I know. We're all gonna really miss her. But she did say our new teacher was very interesting. People only say things were interesting when they can't think of anything nice to say, like, gee, those new shoes you're wearing sure are interesting, or what an interesting dog you have. Mm -hmm. Besides, with a name like Mrs. Grumbly, she's probably a real crab. <laughs> or maybe she'll be really strict, with lots of rules and regulations, like someone in the... Attention! Class. Good, Good morning, morning Mr. Grumbly! I'm your new teacher, and I'm sure we're going to have lots of fun together once you understand the Grumbly rules. That means take out your books. That means turn in your homework, and this... Means everyone line up at the sharpener to sharpen your pencil. Got it? Yes, yes ma'am! <laughs> it's gonna be awful listening to that whistle all day. the whistle as long as she's nice. I just hope she likes us. Why wouldn't she like us, Charlie? Well, maybe she's allergic to kids. Okay, class. Now we will do some <gasps> addition. Teacher being.
being allergic to kids. No, but Mrs. Grumbly might be allergic to dogs. <laughs> Don't worry, Clifford. I'm sure Mrs. Grumbly is going to really like all of us. Oh, at least I hope she will. It's going to be weird not to have Miss Carrington as our teacher anymore, Clifford. I mean, I've known her for such a long time. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if our new teacher could be someone we already know, too? what she's like until we meet her tomorrow. <laughs> In the meantime, why don't we read one of our favorite stories? Woof. There once was a little seal. I don't think she's here yet. It looks like Miss Carrington is in there alone. Do you think we're going to like Miss Grumbly at all? I doubt it. Woof. Woof. What is it, Clifford? <gasps> Look! It's her! It's her. <laughs> She's sneezing! She really is allergic to kids! Good morning, children. I'm Mrs. Grumbly. I hope I didn't scare you with that awful sneeze. <laughs> I guess my nose is still getting used to Birdwell Island's fresh air. The last school I taught at was far, far away from here. Far, far away? That's where I got my lucky whistle. <gasps> I use this whistle when I coach soccer for the kids during recess. You know how to play soccer? Oh, it's one of my favorite games. Mine too! I'll bet you're Charlie. Miss Carrington told me what a terrific soccer player you are. <laughs> she did? He's the best player on our team. After me, that is. And I'll bet you're Jeddah. Uh-huh. Miss Carrington told me that if I have any question about anything, you're the one to ask. You wouldn't be Emily Elizabeth, would you? Yes, that's me. Oh, I've heard that you're a wonderful help in the classroom. So maybe you can help me pass out this getting to know you snack a little later this morning? Sure. What is it? Brownies. Is that okay? Oh, that's perfect. Now, I'm guessing this big red fellow is Clifford. I'll bet you'd like a nice snack too. What do you say we all go inside and I can get to know all of you a little better? Okay. Right. Come on, no, right this way. Come on, it's over I'm here. Go. You know, Emily Elizabeth, I was a little nervous about meeting your dog, Clifford. You were? Uh-huh. When I heard how big he was, oh, I thought he might be a little scary. But now that I've met him, I see that he's a very sweet and special dog. I know what you mean, Miss Grumbly. Clifford and I were a little nervous about meeting you, too. You were? But now we know it's a good idea to wait until you meet someone in person before you decide how you feel about them. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, hi, Clifford. Today I'm going to go down the big slide. But you've never done that before, T-Bone. I know. I I've always been a little afraid to try it, but today I'm ready. Great. Let's go. Trying something new can be a little scary, but sometimes you just know deep inside that you're ready to try. Wow. Is he really going to do it? He said he's ready. You, you can, can do, do it. it! You, you can, can do, do it. it! I can do it! 
know it. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ho -ho! I did it. I knew I could and I did. Now I'm going to do it again. Trying new things can be lots of fun, especially when you believe you can do it. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is <laughs> believe in yourself. So ends another exciting adventure of Rexington, Dog of the Yukon! Woof, woof! That Rexington, what a dog. Did you see how he ran across the ice? And how about the way he jumped onto that tree? Attention, Rexington fans! Rexington's favorite dog food is now available to dogs everywhere! It's Mighty Snackies, the dog food eaten by Rexington himself. Yes, Mighty Snackies! Each Snacky is packed with the mighty power Rexington needs to run faster and jump higher! And now your dog can have that same mighty power with Mighty Snackies! Wow, the same mighty power as Rexington. That would be great! They're mighty tasty, too. That's why we say... That dog food must be supercharged. Ah, uh, come on, big guy. It's just dog food. But it's Rexington's dog food. So? 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 We're not just talking about any dog. We're talking about Rexington. I wonder if Mighty Snackies would help me jump as high as Rexington. Mm. 
I bet they would. After all, each snacky is packed with all the mighty power Rexington needs. Yeah! Yeah! I sure would love to try some mighty snackies, guys! Guys? Guys! Hey! Look at that! They sure look like they're having fun, don't they? They sure do! Have you ever had that much fun just eating your regular dog food? I haven't had that much fun in my entire life! If our dinners were as fun as that. Mmm. Mighty snackies, mighty snackies, mighty, 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 mighty snackies. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever wonder why Rexington loves his mighty snackies? Well, they're not just packed with mighty power, they're mighty tasty, too. In fact, every snacky is bursting with a fireworks of flavor! So dogs don't just like the taste, they love it! Mighty Snackies, Mighty Snackies, Mighty, Mighty, Mighty Snackies! And now, back to the polka dance party. A fireworks of flavor! Packed with mighty power! And they're mighty tasty, too! We just have to get some Mighty Snackies, we just have to! See anything, Cleo? She's coming! Take your positions! Right! Uh, what's my position again? Bark and point! Right! Ready, big guy? Ready! <laughs> Hi, Cleo! Hi, T-Bone! What's going on? Hey, that's Rexington, dog of the Yukon. Would you like to try some of Rexington's new dog food, Clifford? <laughs> <laughs> okay, boy. I'll ask Mom and Dad. They know how much you like Rexington. I'm sure they'll say yes. <laughs> Mighty Snackies, Mighty Snackies, Mighty Snackies, Mighty Snackies! A fireworks of flavor! Like you guys really, really like your new food. 
I'll see you later. Oh, yeah! Please! <laughs> hey, guys, look at me! I've got the mighty power of Mighty Snacky! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, what happened? Maybe you need to eat some more. But that's not the way it is in the commercial. Rexington only needs one bite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yippee. Hey, I don't feel the way they look like they felt on TV. You don't? I feel exactly the same as when I eat regular dog food. Yeah, but this dog food has got a fireworks of flavor. It's really a lot like regular dog food. I don't understand. What happened to all the fun that's supposed to happen? The commercial said that eating mighty snackies would help us run fast and jump high, like Rexington. I don't think it's working on me. Rexington is a pretty amazing dog. Maybe he could already run fast and jump high without the dog food. But still, they made it seem like we would be just like him just by eating his food. I guess no dog food in the world could ever make me exactly like Rexington. Yeah, and I guess that a dog food alone can't really make you feel super happy. So why would they do and say all those things on the commercial? I guess they just think that all that will make us want to buy Rexington's dog food. Well, they were right about that. Emily Elizabeth bought you about two tons of the stuff. Next time we hear an ad like that, maybe we should really think about what it's saying before we get so carried away. So, what are you going to do with all those mighty snackies, Clifford? I don't know. Eat them, I guess. They actually taste okay. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Clifford, was that a burp? Uh, maybe. Or maybe it was just a fireworks of flavor. <laughs> really? Nope, it was a burp. <laughs> 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 Competition. Speckle and his friends were having one of their favorite meals, spaghetti and meatballs. And each of them said that they had the best way in the world to eat it. Speckle showed them how he could eat an entire noodle in just one long slurp. Luna twirled her spaghetti on her fork, creating a tasty noodle twist. Reba and Darnell cut their spaghetti up into little pieces so that they could easily eat it in big, yummy spoonfuls. And Ravi's way was to toss his meatball into the air and catch it in his mouth. As they enjoyed their lunch, Speckle, Ravi, Reba, Darnell, and Luna agreed any way to eat spaghetti is a good way, especially when you're eating it with friends. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. No problem, hop on.
Now do you see anything? Oh, nothing. Okay. Thanks, pal. I'm sure it'll be here soon. What's going on, guys? Oh, hi, Cleo. I went for my friend Burger. He's coming in on a ferry today. But the ferry won't be here until after lunchtime. I know. I guess I'm just a little excited. He was my very first friend when I was just a little puppy. I can't wait to meet him. What's he like, T-Bone? Well, he's a lot like me. When we were little puppies, we used to do everything together. Whatever I did, Hamburger did. And whatever Hamburger did, I did. For a nap, T Bone? There you go, hamburger. Wilson, I can hardly believe that you and Hamburger are going away. Yep, we're really gonna miss you two. Wow, so that's when you found out that Hamburger was moving away? No. We just thought maybe Hamburger and Deputy Wilson were going away on a vacation or something. When did you figure out they were going away for good? The next day, we were having a great time playing tag in the sheriff's station. You can't tag me if you can't catch me! Then I'm gonna have to catch you! <laughs> hey, Hamburger, where'd you go? Gotcha! Huh? <laughs> hamburger, go on! <laughs> What's the matter? Are you stuck? No, I can get out. Uh-oh. Now I'm stuck. Whoa! There! Now you're not stuck anymore. I'm not stuck in the bars anymore, but I am stuck in here. At least until Sheriff Lewis comes and opens the door. Well then, I'll be stuck with you. Thanks, pal. You're welcome, pal. T-Bone, Hamburger! You boys in here? <laughs> <laughs> you two got yourself stuck again, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be awfully quiet around here when you and Hamburger move away next week, Deputy. <laughs> it sure is. Our two dogs are gonna have a hard time getting used to being without each other. Well, I guess I better get busy and start packing. We hope you'll come back and visit with us now and again. That we will do, I promise. That's when we finally figured out what was going on. Hamburger was leaving for good. Gosh, that must have been awful. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't even imagine one of you guys leaving. I really wanted us to stay together. So I made a plan. I decided the thing to do was to pack up and go with hamburger. <clears throat> huh? Whoa! Gotcha! Oh, hamburger gone! So what's going on here, T? I'm packing. I've decided to go with you. Woohoo! Let me help you pack. Well, that's it. Let's take it over to my house and put it with the rest of the stuff that we're moving. <laughs> I think it's a little too heavy, T-Bone. Uh-huh. I know. Let's get Sheriff Lewis to carry it for us. Then we can help him carry his stuff. Okay. That sounds great. Wait a minute. The Sheriff doesn't have any stuff to carry. Why not? He's not moving. Only Deputy Wilson is moving. But I don't want to move if Sheriff Lewis isn't moving. Hey, how about instead of me moving with you, you stay here with me? Great idea! I'll just stay here. Hooray! You're going to stay with me. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't stay here. I want to go where Deputy Wilson is going. Since neither one of us wanted to leave our humans, we realized that our plans wouldn't work. Wow, what a great story. So then what did you do? Hamburger and I came up with another plan. We figured that if he didn't have a suitcase, he wouldn't be able to leave. <laughs> Let me try. Someone brought my suitcase out for me. Oh, thanks, boys. <sighs> well, Deputy, good luck to you. Thanks, Sheriff. Keep in touch. Where's Hamburger? I just have to say goodbye one last time. Oh, Hamburger! Come on! Come on, Hamburger. Time to go. <laughs> I know you're gonna miss Hamburger, and he's gonna miss you too. But don't worry. We'll come back and visit. I promise. <laughs> come on, Hamburger. Let's go, buddy. T-Bone. I'm sure gonna miss you, but I'll bet we'll both make some new friends real soon. Oh, 
hamburger. Go on! You see that, Cleo? Those two are going to be friends forever. You said it, pal. <laughs> friends forever. Are you ready to roll, T-Bone? Ready! <laughs> But I'm so dizzy. Oh, look at poor T-Bone. He is so clumsy sometimes. That's not a very nice thing to say, Mac. Being a good friend means thinking about your friend's feelings, even when he's not around. Oh, what a klutz. Please stop making fun of T-Bone, Mac. Oh, but he can't hear me. You wouldn't want T-Bone to make fun of you when you're not around, would you? No, I, I guess not. <laughs> Did you guys see me rolling? Yep. You look like you were really having fun, T-Bone. I was. It just feels right when you treat your friends the way you would like to be treated. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be a good friend. Someone wants to know what the final score was. We won, Clifford! The Birdwell Bird soccer team won again! Whoa! win one more game on Sunday. Then we'll be the island champions. Coach Watts is on the practice field extra early tomorrow morning. Saturday morning? But that's when I give Clifford his bath. Championship. I'm afraid I won't have time to give you your bath until after the game on Sunday, okay? Woof. Thanks, Clifford. <laughs> I'll pick you up in the morning, Emily. See you then. Bye, Charlie. Woof. Whoa! 
Ready for practice, Emily? I sure am. What's all this stuff? My mom bought these so we could make matching tie-dye t-shirts for the whole team. Very cool. They can be our special championship uniforms. Uh-huh. But we better get going now or we'll be late. <sighs> Hi, Clifford. Woof. Bye, Clifford. See you later. Woof, woof, woof. Wow, Emily Elizabeth has been really busy lately. I wish there was some way I could help her. T-Bone, we've got to help them. Well, that was helpful. I'll save you, Clifford! There! I stopped it, Clifford! Why did you do that, T-Bone? You mean you were getting wet on purpose? Uh-huh. I'm helping Emily Elizabeth. She's been really busy lately, so I'm giving myself a bath today. Don't worry about a thing, Clifford. No one knows more about baths than I do. You just sit back and I'll take care of everything. First, we'll need some shampoo. Mm, is the shampoo the blue one or the yellow one, Clifford? I don't know. None of these look like my regular shampoo. I guess Emily Elizabeth was going to try some new stuff today. Well, don't worry. Mr. Kibble always uses new stuff on me. I can figure it out. This blue one looks like the bubble stuff, the shampoo. The yellow one is probably the slippery stuff. That makes it easier to comb your fur. And that last one is the fruity, stinky, smelly stuff. You really know your stuff, Cleo. I know. So what are we waiting for? It's bath time. First, the shampoo. <laughs> that tickles, Cleo. Oh, pretty color. That's nothing, T-Bone. By the time I'm done with Clifford, he'll look so good that everyone will stop and stare. Uh, Cleo? Clifford is blue. Of course he is. That color doesn't come off until you put the slippery stuff on. Here comes the slippery stuff. <laughs> that one tickles even more than the blue one. Whoa! This stuff really is slippery. Rinse. How do I look, guys? Uh, kind of yellowish, bluish. Uh, yeah. Yellowish, bluish? What do you mean? <laughs> Don't worry, big guy. I'm sure it'll disappear just as soon as we put on the fruity, stinky, smelly stuff. Uh, okay, if you say so, Cleo. <laughs> that really tickles. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> that's good, Clifford. <laughs> laughing is good. Uh-huh. Laughing is very good. <gasps> is something wrong, guys? Does it look okay? It looks really, uh, cool. Oh my gosh. What happened? Well, um, you know that shampoo and stuff we found? Uh-huh. Well, I don't think it was shampoo and stuff. You mean it won't rinse off? Oh, no. What's Emily Elizabeth going to say? I was trying to make less work for her, not more work. What am I going to do? 
We're really sorry, big guy. We were just trying to help. I know. We were all just trying to help. Do you think it'll ever come off? I don't know. What was that stuff, anyway? Tie-dye coloring. Very cool. We're going to be the best dressed team in the whole league in our matching tie-dye t-shirts. Tie-dye? Oh, my gosh. I've been tie-dyed? Tie-dye is very popular this year. Emily Elizabeth is going to be so unhappy when she sees me. I don't want to upset her right before the big championship game. Well, okay, don't panic. Here's what you do. Just hide the tie-dyed in from Emily Elizabeth until after she plays the soccer game. That's a great idea, Cleo. All I have to do is keep my back end hidden until after tomorrow. Wow, these came out great. Oh my gosh, really cool. Clifford has got to see these. Clifford! Come here, boy! <laughs> what do you think of our cool t-shirts, Clifford? Boop, boop. Come on, guys. Let's go practice some more while our t-shirts dry. Bye-bye! Boop, boop. Strangely? <laughs> it's okay, Clifford. I'm not sure how it happened, but I have a feeling it was just a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> but I'm afraid this is one mistake I can't help you fix. You're just going to have to wait a few weeks till your fur grows out. I think he looks very cool. Everyone looks good in tie-dye. Hey, he'd make a great mascot for our soccer team, Emily. <laughs> You know, Emily, I think Clifford's the best team mascot we've ever had. The crowd really loves him. Of course they do. He's Clifford, my big tie-dye dog. Oh. friends got together to look at Speckle's album of photographs. Seeing the pictures reminded them of all the good times they'd shared together. And everyone had a particular memory they liked best. Reba's favorite was the time they sailed across the sky in a hot air balloon. Darnell liked the time they built the great big 
castle in the sand. Ravi laughed when he recalled the rainy day they had a picnic indoors. And Luna loved when they picked the vegetables from their very own garden. Speckle agreed that memories are great, so they all decided to make as many memories as possible every time they were together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. Okay, Clifford, all done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whee! <laughs> this year's school talent show is going to be the best one ever. I know. Everyone is working so hard. Almost everyone. I'm working. I'm perfecting my very popular baton twirling routine. After all, a show is only as good as its star. And as the winner of last year's first place trophy, the burden is all mine. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have some real competition this year. That's right. Charlie and I have a great act. We're going to be so funny. I'm going to sing a song. I'm going to do magic. My uncle's a really good magician, and he's teaching me all kinds of tricks. Watch this. Now you see it. Now you don't. Ooh. Where'd it go? A magician never reveals his secrets. The stage looks wonderful, kids. Thank you, Miss Carrington. I didn't see your name on the sign-up sheet to perform, Mary. You know, there's still time. Um, no thanks. I, I really don't have anything I want to do. Okay. I'm gonna go finish folding the programs. I wonder why Mary doesn't do something in the show. She plays the piano. Not in front of people, she does it. She tried to perform at last year's show. But at the last minute, she just got too scared to even go out on the stage. I guess Mary's just not meant for the stage. Unlike some of us. <laughs> I think Mary would like to be in the show. If only she could get over her stage fright. I can't wait for tonight's show, Clifford. It'll be so much fun. Woof! <laughs> I wonder where the music's coming from. Wow! Mary's really good! That's great, Mary! Woof! Oh, uh, thanks. I love it! Keep playing! Oh, I just can't play when someone is watching. I would love to be in the show, but every time I'm in front of people, I just get all shaky and shy. I know what you mean. You do? But you never get stage fright. I used to, until my dad told me what worked for him. Instead of trying to perform for the whole crowd, just imagine you're talking to one friend. Did that work? Uh-huh. Now, whenever I'm talking in front of the class or when I'm on stage, I just pretend I'm talking to Clifford. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I think I could play for Clifford. Well, if you can perform for Clifford, you can perform for anybody. Why don't you and I enter the talent show together? Then we can both pretend like we're performing for Clifford. Together? 
But aren't you doing something by yourself? I'd rather do something with you. You can play the piano. We both can sing. It'll be fun. I do know a really good song. Great. Let's try it. Whoa. Whoa. You decided to participate tonight, Mary. I just hope I don't get too scared to play. Well, if you decide you'd rather not, that's okay too. Thanks, Miss Carrington. I can't believe you're doing this, Emily Elizabeth. I mean, Mary has never been able to perform in front of people. You are totally ruining your chance to win the second place trophy. Mary is very talented, Jetta. Who knows? We might even win the first place trophy. Thank you, everyone, for coming to our annual school talent show. We've got a lot of gifted students who've been practicing very hard. So, on with the show. Yeah! Oh, waiter. Yes? What's this fly doing in my soup? Looks like the backstroke. <laughs> oh, that is such a bad joke. This soup tastes like blue. Then that must be tomato. Our split pea tastes like paint. <laughs> I demand you take this soup back to the cook. Why? He won't eat it either. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, I, I didn't know there were going to be so many people. Remember, Mary, just think of them as one friend. Yeah, one hundred. I don't know. The bird's doing all the work. For my next spectacular illusion, I need a volunteer. That looks like fun! Emily Elizabeth Howard has graciously volunteered. Please step into the box of mystery. Which I shall lock, so there is no hope of escape. <laughs> It's okay, Clifford. It's just a trick. <sighs> and now... Uh, uh. Yeah! 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 Wow, that was super! That was so cool! Nice job, Vaz, but you can let me out now. Oh, yeah. Uh. Vaz? I forgot where I put the key. And now, the final performance of the evening Emily, Elizabeth, and Mary! Oh, no. Where are Emily, Elizabeth, and Mary? Mary, that's our cue. You're going to have to go on without me. What? I. I. I can't. Sure you can. Just tell yourself that you're playing for just one friend. Go on, you Mary. Can do it. I know just 
what to do Whenever I need someone I always come to you When you help me And I help you All right! Mary's really great! Yeah! When we help each other Sometimes. That's not a very nice thing to say, Mac. Being a good friend means thinking about your friend's feelings, even when he's not around. Oh, what a klutz. Please stop making fun of T-Bone, Mac. Oh, but he can't hear me. You wouldn't want T-Bone to make fun of you when you're not around, would you? No, I... I guess not. <laughs> Did you guys see me rolling? Yep. You look like you were really having fun, T-Bone. I was! It just feels right when you treat your friends the way you would like to be treated. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be a good friend. started on that new book I got at the library today. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so you like the music channel, huh, T-Bone? <laughs> okay, T. We can watch this for a few minutes. Then we'll go read our book. Hey, boy? <laughs> okay. Elizabeth watches that music channel sometimes. I really like the beat of that music. I really like the way they move. I think we could be a really great music group, too. I already started writing a song. Cool. I'd like to play drums for the band. I love their moves, and their songs, and what they wear, and... Would you like to be in our band, Mac? Your band? That's a great idea! Oh, gee, I don't know. Ah, come on! After all, the only thing better than three pop stars... Is, is four pop stars. pop stars! Okay, I'll be in your band. Oh, great! Really? And I have the perfect name for us. You Say do? Like the Pack Street Dogs! Perfect! Let's hit it, Pack Street Dogs! Come on, Mac. You can help me sing. Go, T-Bone. Go, Mackie. Go, T-Bone. Go, Mackie. Hello, everybody. Here are the Pack Street Dogs. Right now, we're going to hear from our good friend, Mac. <clears throat> Ma, 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 Mac is my name, and I'm a dog who really appreciates great rock and roll a lot. Ow! Singing in this wonderful style, with its roots and rhyme and blues, is better than falling off a log. Uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I'm just a little uncomfortable singing this kind of song. You're not the only one who's uncomfortable. Uh, I could use some help in the rhythm section, Mac. I'd be great at that, Clifford. Together, we could really rock this town. Great! So let's do this number one more time. Take it, Mac. Uh, that was really... original. Oh, thanks. But you know, I'm not sure drumming is really my thing either. Right, right. You probably have some more other talent that's an even more talented... talent. Uh-huh. Maybe you could try dancing with Cleo. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, I'll think about it. But right now, I better get home. It's almost dinner time. Me too. I have to write some more words to our song. I can't think of anything else to rhyme with dog and log. Just write about what's important to you. Okay, then. Let's meet back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Ready to rock and roll. Right on. Yes. Follow me, Mac. Kick, 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 kick it. Nice moves, Mac. Mac, we're supposed to stay together. Oh, I'm sorry, Cleo. I guess I'm really more of a solo artist. What do you mean? I just don't think I fit into this band. My dancing style is different from yours, my drumming borders on the avant-garde, and my voice is... Well, it's really more suited for musical comedy. Uh, Mac, do you want to fit into this band? Well, yes, I do. Then we'll find a way to fit you in. Good friends don't leave anyone out who wants to be in. Hey, T-Bone, that sounds like it would make a good song. Yeah, it would. <clears throat> We'll never leave you out. We'll always let you in. We're the Pack Street Dogs, and we'll greet you with a grin. We'll make you feel at home. You'll never be left out, because spending time together is what it's all about. Bow wow. The Pack Street Dogs are cool, and on this you can depend. We all count upon each other. We're together till the end. Bow wow. Wow, Mac, that was so cool. Those are the best words I've ever heard for a song. Hey. That's where you fit into this band, Mac. You can write the words to our songs. Cool. Yeah. Well, of course. Why didn't I think of that before? I am great at writing lyrics, you know. Uh-huh. And you're really good at writing words to songs, too. Uh, right. Thank you, T-Bone. So come on, everyone. Let's rehearse. We've got a show to do this weekend. Street dogs from the island of Birdwell. Listen very closely, we've, we've got a tell to tell. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone, uh huh. Go T Bone. It's all about our friendship, it's as good as any other. We're all very close, like a sister and three brothers. It's 
story time! You want to hear a speckle story, don't you? Woof! Woof! <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Beautiful Boat. It was a gorgeous blue-skied afternoon, and Speckle and his friends decided to spend it sailing their toy boats. Everyone had made their own, and they were very proud of how wonderful their boats looked. But suddenly, Ravi's boat started sinking, and then it disappeared under the water. Without a boat, Ravi couldn't play, and that wouldn't be fun for anyone. Luckily, Speckle had an idea. They could each take a piece from their own boat and put them together to make a brand new boat for Ravi. Which they did. Soon, Ravi's new boat was sailing skillfully next to the others. Watching it glide across the water, everyone agreed that the boat they made together was an especially beautiful boat. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. Coming to Birdwell. Go, Clipper! Watch what happens when I run with it, Cleo. Clipper, stop! <laughs> Sorry, T-Bone. Is your sandcastle okay? Uh-huh. It's a great sandcastle, T. Thanks. I've been working on it all morning and... Whoa! Hey! You won't believe it, guys. I have the most amazing news. Mac, you almost ran into T-Bone's very cool sandcastle. Cool? I'll tell you what's cool, Cleo. Guess who's coming to Birdwell Island today? Who? Who? Champion Oscar Owens Bright Like the Sun. Never heard of him. Sorry, Mac. Me neither. <laughs> Never heard of him? His name does sound kind of familiar. <sighs> it should sound familiar to anyone who knows anything about dog show champions. Oscar Owen Bright Like the Sun is only the most famous champion in the entire world. <gasps> oh, that Oscar Owen Bright Like the Sun! Oh, I didn't just say so. Isn't it exciting, Cleo? I'm finally going to meet a dog that's actually won more medals than I have. It's almost too much to believe. Right, right, right. He's won a uh, best, a uh, best. In show? Right, in show for uh, three, four, five. Five years in a row! Wow, and he's actually coming to Birdwell Island today? I can't wait to meet him. Think he'll want to play at the beach with us? <laughs> oh, please, T Bone. You don't play at the beach with someone like Oscar. He's much too. Uh, Special for that. He is? Gosh, if he's so special, maybe we all need to be as special as we can possibly be, too. You're absolutely right, Cleo. If we even hope to be friends with Oscar, we have to show him that we're not just plain old regular dogs. Gee, I think I'd like to be his friend. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's go make ourselves special. Let's go. Okay. Gosh, I think we're pretty special just the way we are. Oh! Ow, 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 ow! I, what? Uh, I may not have won best in show five times, but I am definitely the most fluff up and docious dog around. Uh, 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 
What am I going to do? I know I'm special, but, but Oscar is so very special. He's won a million medals and a trillion trophies. He's won best in show, best in class, best form, best snout. But I don't believe he's ever won best smile. And I have 14 times. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's special. No one smiles like Mac. I don't know, T-Bone. I can't think of anything special about me that might impress Champion Oscar. Everything about you is special, Clifford. You're one of a kind, just like me. <gasps> Ahem. Speaking of special... Wow! Look at your fluff, Cleo. It's the fluffiest. So, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Whoa! Are you okay, Cleo? Oh no! My fluff! Oh, phew. thank goodness it's just a dent. Oh. <sighs> you look really special, Cleo. I wish I could think of something special to do. Well, you are the only dog I know who's almost two stories tall. I guess that is kind of special. Of course it is. You're really big and really red. All you have to do is find a way to look your biggest and your reddest. Whoa! Oh! No one is bigger and redder than Clifford. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Gosh. What's wrong with your face? This is my verse smile smile. Isn't it special? Uh, sure. Special. <laughs> and what are you going to do to impress champion Oscar T-Bone? Uh, I don't know. Why can't I just be myself? <laughs> oh, you. Because it's just not enough, T-Bone. That must be him. But I can't see him. Me either. Clifford, is he coming? There he is. I think he looked at me. He was great. He's the most fabulous dog I have ever seen. Gee, he looked just like a regular dog to me. And he seemed really nice. Uh, he's definitely not regular. He's, he's a star. And I found out he's staying at Dr. Din's house while he's here. Wow, let's go over and see if we can meet him. Come on, let's go. Hi! Hello! Welcome to Burwell Island! Hi! My name's T-Bone! Oh. Well, uh, hello. I'm Mac. Would you like to come over to my house and see all my medals? I don't have as many as you, of course, but we could, you know, compare and talk about our experiences, the challenges of competition, the thrill of triumph, the agony of fleas, that sort of thing. Uh, well, no. No, thank you. Oh, it did it! <clears throat> Hello, I'm Cleo. I could take you over to meet Monsieur Kibble if you would like. He's my personal groomer. 
I'm sure he'd just love to give you a free bath and brushing. Oh, well, that's nice, but uh, I don't think I really need a bath right now. I'm Clifford. Just climb aboard and I'll show you around all the really big places on the island. No! I mean, it's nice of you to offer. But I think I'll just stay here. Is that a new ball? It's really cool. <laughs> we love to play ball. Maybe we could all go down to the beach and play together. <gasps> <gasps> uh, that sounds like fun, T-Bone, but well, are you sure your friends would want to? I mean, it seems like they would rather do other things. Oh, they just got a little carried away trying to impress you today. But they're really just plain old regular dogs. Honest. Okay. I guess it's not fair to judge anyone until you get to know them. Come on, everyone. Let's go play at the beach. Here it comes, Clifford! Get it, Oscar! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Great shot, Clifford! Thanks, Oscar! You know, you're nothing like what we thought you'd be, Oscar. You're just a normal dog. Well, you guys are nothing like I thought you'd be, either. I guess we must have seemed a little strange to you, huh? Well, a little. We wanted you to like us so much that we were really trying to impress you. You did impress me. We did? Yep. The minute you started just being yourselves. Now, let's play ball! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, guys. There's KC. He's helping Mrs. Young. Everyone can use a helping hand now and then. And helping someone out can sometimes turn out to be fun. It looks like KC really likes helping Mrs. Young. I always feel good when I help someone. Hey, why don't we all go and see if we can find someone to help right now? The best part of helping others is how good it feels. The person you're helping feels good, and so do you. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is help others.
That dog is gigantic! He's almost as big as Clifford! Excuse me? Whoa! <laughs> that dog is me! That's you in the picture? Uh-huh. My name's Frankie. My human owns this new shoe store. It's nice to meet you, Frankie. I'm Cleo, and this is Tebow. Wow, you look so small. I am small. It's the picture that got big. It's impossible for a dog to be that big. Woof, woof. Of course, I could be wrong. Hey, do you guys know who the enormous dog in this picture is? <laughs> uh huh. Do you know where he is? <laughs> uh huh. He's right here. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> Clifford, meet Frankie. Frankie, meet Clifford. Wow, you're big. Wow, you're small. You're really big. And you're really small. Now that we've got that settled, want to play hide and seek with us? Sounds like fun. Let's play at the park. Great. Hop on. from this high up before. Clifford, you're the luckiest dog in the world. Okay, guys. Since I'm the best finder, I'm going to count to ten while you guys go hide. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four. Find me so fast, Cleo. It's a gift. Yet, Cleo? Yeah, this is the longest it's taken you to find anyone. Hey, this is his first time playing with me. I don't want to find him too fast or I might scare him away with my brilliance. <laughs> hey, where is he? I found him, Cleo. A dog your size can do everything, Clifford. You're good at hiding. Thanks, but Clifford sure is good at seeking. <laughs> Please, I could have found you. I was just, um, a, a weak from thirst. Let's go get some water. Ugh. Ugh. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But that wouldn't happen to me if I were big like you, Clifford. I hope Frankie can play with us again today. I want to play tag this morning. <laughs> Let's see if he's here. What took you so long? Didn't you hear us? I didn't hear you guys. But I sure heard Clifford. Uh, did you grow last night, Frankie? You noticed, huh? I'm much bigger than I was yesterday, thanks to my big shoes. Those are great, Frankie, but why do you want to be bigger? I want to be like you. You can run so fast and reach so high. You want to be like me? Come on, let's go play some tag. I should be able to run really fast now that my legs are longer. Maybe my big shoes weren't such a great idea after all. I just wish there was some way I could be bigger. I think I might know a way. What is it, T-Bone? Well, Sheriff Lewis just bought me this new dog food. And the commercial says it helps us grow big and strong. There's a whole bag of it in my garage. I know that dog food. The commercial says it helps build dogs' bodies 15 ways. That sounds perfect. Can I try some, T-Bone? Sure. Well, come on then. Let's go help Frankie grow big and strong. Can you see the dog food, T-Bone? It's right over there in the corner. T-Bone, are you sure it's okay if we take some? Well, Sheriff Lewis wants me to grow strong. I'm sure he wants Frankie to grow too. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go get some. Oh, I can't get in. What? And I can't lift it! Whoa! Oh. I'm sorry, Frankie. I guess we can't get in. I think I could get in. Yeah? Why don't you try? He did it! Oh! Yeah. Almost the whole bag. If he does this every day, he'll be bigger in no time at all. Here he comes. Excuse me. Wow, he is bigger. <laughs> Do you feel any bigger, Frankie? Yeah, I feel bigger. In my tummy. But I don't think that's gonna make me run any faster or reach any higher. I'm so full. Uh, I can hardly move. I guess I'm never gonna be like you, Clifford. Why do you want to be like me, Frankie? Because you can do everything better than I can. No, I can't. You can run faster than I can. But you can hide better than I can. You can drink from your water dish. But you can swim in it. And you could go through T-Bone's window when none of the rest of us could. And you can fit into a shoe. Yeah, maybe you're not as big as I am, but I think you're just the right size for you. Yeah, 
I guess I am just the right size. For me. So come on. Let's go to the library and play tag. No thanks. Why not? I'm a little too big for that right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Reba's turn to be it. While Reba counted to ten, Luna, Ravi, Darnell, and Speckle scattered off to hide. Once she finished counting, it was time to find everyone. First, she found Darnell, cleverly hiding behind a fun-shaped bush. Then she found Ravi and Luna, hidden in a flower patch. Where was Speckle? Reba looked and looked, but she couldn't find him. Then Reba heard Speckle calling to her. Looking up, she saw that he was in the tree where he'd been the whole time. Laughing with her friends, Reba declared that Speckle had found the best hiding place of all. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Me tea. You're welcome. Freeze again! I am the queen of freeze tag. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I'm good. Uh, can we unfreeze now, Cleo? Oh, yeah. Unfreeze. It took you a while to get us that time, Cleo. Oh, I could have won a long time ago. I was just taking it easy on you. I don't know. T Boat and I make a pretty good team. <laughs> we do now. But I remember when we first started playing together. What happened? When I first moved here, T-Bone was a little afraid of me because I was so big. Then I got to know him and I found out what a nice guy he is. So where's the problem? Well, we knew we wanted to be friends and play together, but we weren't sure how. I remember one morning, Clifford came over to play with me. <sighs> Ah, what a beautiful day. Hey, where'd the sun go? Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Hello there. Are you here to play with T-Bone? Whoa, 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 whoa. Go on, you two. Have fun. Want to go smell the cookies baking at the bakery? Or we could go to the beach and dig some holes. T-Bone? Sorry about that. I'll slow down a little. Oh, thanks. That'd be great. 
So you want to go to the park and play some fetch? That sounds like fun! And I know a shortcut. You want to play hide and seek instead? Uh-uh! Let's play fetch! Great! Let's go! Whoa! Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we need to find just the right stick for a game of fetch. Right! Found one! Great! What do you think? Wow! It's big! Throw it! Throw it far! I love it when it goes far! Okay! Uh, I think that's a little too far! <laughs> yeah! Hey! How about I throw one for you? Okay. Want me to throw it again? Okay. Want me to throw it again? Uh, no, that's okay. You want to go play in the water? Okay. Last one in is a Krabby Krab! I love playing in the ocean! <laughs> That's great! Come on out, T-Bone! Uh, okay. S sorry, Clifford. This is as far as I can go. Gosh, this isn't very deep, is it? It is for me. I see what you mean. W wanna do something else? Well, it's getting kind of late. I have to go pick up Emily Elizabeth from school. But maybe we can play again tomorrow. Sure. Okay, see ya, T-Bone. See ya! Hey! Careful, T-Bone. I've just been groomed. Sorry, Mac. I saw you with that new dog, Clifford. Isn't he a little... big? Aha! Uh -huh. And he's really nice. How can you guys play together? It is kind of hard. But we'll work it out. But you're so... so... different. I know. But that's part of the fun. Oh, <sighs> whatever. I've got to go, T-Bone. I've got a dog show tomorrow. I'm going for best tail in show. Max right. Clifford and I are different. So maybe we just need to find a different way to play. Oops. 
sorry about that, T-Bone. I didn't see you. That's okay. <laughs> Do you still want to play today? Sure. Do you? Ah-ha! Uh -huh. But maybe we can think of some different ways to play together. Great. Let's go. Want to play fetch again? Well, it didn't work out so well yesterday. Maybe we could play it differently. Okay. Go ahead and throw it. And throw it far. I love it when it goes far. Right. Let's, Let's go, go fetch. fetch. Get it, T-Bone! We did it! We played fetch! <laughs> that was fun! Let's do it again! We could. Or we could go play in the ocean now. Okay, but we don't have to be so far apart today, do we? Uh-uh, I have an idea. Ha-ha! <laughs> this is great! I'm Captain T-Bone of the USS Clifford. Where to, Captain T-Bone? Let's take a trip around Birdwell Island, home of the famous Big Red Dog. <laughs> we had so much fun that day. Uh-huh. It took some experimenting, but we finally found some great ways to play together. What a good story. It'd make a great book. Well, hello, everyone. I'm glad you're all here. I found something in the garage that I think you're going to like. Here you go. I'm sure the three of you will find a way to have some fun with this together. <laughs> All aboard the Birdwell Island Express! <laughs> <laughs> Friends love to play games, and everyone likes to be the star. But sometimes it's better to work together than to try and win the game alone. I got it! I got it. I got it. Uh, guys, I think we're doing something wrong here. Maybe we should try working together. Good idea, Clifford. It's worth a try. Okay, then. Let's do it. together as a team makes playing more fun for everyone. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. 